episode six, this is madness. I never stick with anything this long. My channel's just full of broken promises. I'm probably the worst YouTuber ever, but <laughs> you think I give a shit? I have level 99 strength. <laughs> Nothing matters anymore, I've peaked. This episode is a little more modest than the last one, and that's okay. That's okay! Cause you know, before you start snowballing, you gotta start by making the snow. And what makes the snow in RuneScape, you ask? Well, I'm, I'm very glad you asked me that. Anything but straight up leveling is what makes the snow. Now, what do I mean by this? I could take my <laughs> brand new Abyssal Whip and go beat the shit out of some zombies, like the ones you saw in episode one of this crazy ass series that I hope will make me rich. But it's not looking so good. Or I could run over to a tree, do a little choppy chop, and pocket a bit of XP, but none of this truly gets me anywhere. Because RuneScape is a largely limited experience unless you partake in all the extracurriculars, such as completing quests, minigames, and so on. And to do a lot of these quests and minigames, we have to do the prerequisites to said quests and said minigames. It's, there's, it's a fucking mess, okay? Like, all the stuff I need to do. I'm stressed out in my freaking mind. I've quit this game like eight times since starting the series. <laughs> Just don't talk about it, which is ironic because I started this series on the promise that I'd never quit again. So now it can be called into question. Am I a man of my word? Do I still train combat skills using sand crabs when no one's watching? This series has made me untrust myself, dude. Which leads me right into the next part of my video. What is this series all about? Hello, I'm Goose, and you're probably wondering why I'm stressed out of my mind. Well, folks, to be honest, I'm not like most RuneScape YouTubers. I have no idea what the f I'm doing. And I had this harebrained idea to start a series on RuneScape to eventually achieve max level on my shitty old account, with the idea that people who watch the series would give me tips and suggestions along the way because I don't want to use the Wikipedia unless I really need to. Now, what I did not realize before making this series is that RuneScape is like a very meaty game. It's like, take an MMO like Terra, okay? It's like, it's like a white girl booty level of meaty. And I mean, that's respectable. That's certainly, <laughs> that's certainly respectable. But then there's RuneScape, which I thought was another white girl. But no, no. This game is full on Latina. I'm talking meaty booty. I mean, we all know who's winning that twerk off. And I did not know this at all. I thought RuneScape was one of the most basic, casual MMOs out there. I've been playing it on and off for 16 years, just doing the most basic forms of XP grinding. So with that being said, where am I in this game? At this point, a lot of what I'm doing to achieve that goal of max total level is listening to what viewers suggest I work on. So things that'll help the process go a lot more smoothly. A lot of the comments have been really helpful, and I think you'll see in this episode I'm laying the groundwork to get some of those items in quest done, that'll help me make some big XP gains. But then there's other people, right, who just look at me like, hey, this guy Goose is a noob. Let's tell him to do something that'll make him look stupid, huh? And I'm tired of it. You guys think you're gonna make a laughing stock of me, huh? Well, guess what, sucker? Not only does Goose not back down from a challenge, he smacks that bitch in the teeth. Unless that bitch has grills, because, like, it's it's just not practical to hit teeth that have grills on them. It's like when football players get into fist fights. Like, what are you doing? I mean, I want to know what's going through this guy's head when he's trying to swing on a guy wearing a pure polycarbonate steel-made helmet. And it's with his bare fists, dude. I mean, to be fair, there's more manliness in one punch from these guys than there is in, like, an entire season of FIFA. But, like, in terms of intelligence, are you kidding me? I'm telling you, you don't need scientists to figure out what concussions do. You can just watch a football fight, dude. You'd be like, that guy throwing fists at a steel face mask? Probably shouldn't be playing football anymore. But before I even get started on this one small favor quest, I needed to address a little situation that's been pissing me off. One of the main goals I've had for some time now is acquiring a fire cape. Now, admittedly, this has taken a bit of a backseat since I got my flashy new strength cape, but end of the day, the strength cape can be achieved by any new. I know, I'm currently the biggest one. You just need to plant yourself by crabs for like two weeks and you've got it. But the fire cape, you need to kill one of the strongest monsters in the game, and that's after you survive a whole bunch of waves of this guy's little bitch boys trying to reach Clap Nation via your jiggly butt cheeks. And if I wanted a chance of surviving this tumultuous venture, it had been said enough that I need good range. I visit the Grand Exchange and can't believe my eyes. It appears that the next 20 or 30 levels of range alone will cost more than the whip I've been bragging about getting. Seriously, I even told my girlfriend about this whip and I don't tell her anything RuneScape related. Mainly because when I say RuneScape, she says things like, is that a type of Fortnite? Gosh, how did I fall in love with the girl who thinks every game is based around Fortnite? It's like, Fortnite came out five years ago and people think it started gaming. I'm fine, I'm whatever, it's whatever. After realizing how expensive range equipment is, I gave up on it. I know, it's not a good look. <laughs> but don't worry, I'd 
come back to it. Don't you worry your beautiful little mind about it. I mean, no, I don't mean it like that. You have a big mind. Bunch of smart asses in the comments you guys are. No, I didn't mean that either. I don't know what's happening. The issue here was cash flow. I could get level 60, maybe even level 70 range, but what good is it if when I hit level 70, I start jumping around and <laughs> frolicking like a little animal that frolics. I don't know. Just to get slammed into the ground a second later by the realization that I don't have any money to even do anything with these newfound games. So let's back it up a minute. First, I decided to pay the NMZ a little visit. Now, most people are going to be like, oh my gosh, Goose, you're, you're too good for that place now. You got that 99 cape. You good, bro. <laughs> and I completely agree. Don't worry. That's not why I'm here. I decided I needed to check out what these herb boxes are all about because the game does not stop reminding me that I can buy them. I'm hoping some money will come from these. And that's sort of what happens. If I wasn't paying 22 grand for each NMZ round, this would certainly be a nice haul. I go and sell these off and guys, let's think back for a second here. What was I wearing in the first episode? Oof, yikes, am I right? Now what am I wearing five episodes later? I look the exact f***ing same! After all that progress, are you kidding me? It's time to change the look a little bit. I sell off my berserker necklace. You guys are like, why did you do that, Goose? You, you don't got the bonus no more, man. And I'm gonna whisper back into your ear, don't worry, baby girl, Poppy Goose knows what he's doing. I'm gonna take care of you real good, okay? Yo, 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 we got that whip, boys. First big weapon jump in the series. Oh, shit! Oh, do it again. Now, just out of respect for the whip, I had to take it out for a spin. Greater Demon Slayer task. If you ask Konar what demons are susceptible to, she'll say magic damage. But after I'm done cooking these bitches well done, she's gonna be saying they're susceptible to a whip, and I'm an idiot for ever thinking magic was the solution. Get your little <laughs> spell noises out of here. Because when little Timmy runs back to his village after passing by what looks like Earth's Vahina, he's gonna tell his villager friends not to go near it, because all he heard coming out of that crack was <laughs> That last part was the demons. Now, the task went well, but if there was one thing I'd take away from this series so far, it's that I hate people with this cannon. What is the point of this thing, other than to piss everyone in a five mile radius off? Now, it's not something I'm proud of, but I'm a very spiteful person. And I have started a RuneScape black book of all these guys that have come next to my Slayer spot after I got there and have set their little kill-stealing turd launcher down right next to me. I mean, he's just standing there like, oh, this is a good spot right here. And I'm like, hey man, I've been here for like an hour. And he looks over as I'm mid-sent and says, oh, last time I checked, this was a free country. Yeah, I'll just leave the server. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you run, bitch. After I completed this task, I decided to stop shying away from range. And where better to train range than the Island of Dreams, the place where boys become men. That's right, we're taking this train right over to Sand Crab Island. But I'd quickly come across my next obstacle. This game has seemingly exploded in popularity, as can be seen by these crazy server numbers. Servers that usually only have like five to six hundred players at this time of day now have double that. And on one hand, like, yeah, I'm happy for RuneScape, you know? Like, I'm super stoked it's getting all this success, right? Unless it somehow affects me. I mean, come on. I mean, I'm practically just a RuneScape YouTuber at this point, so, you know, the more the merrier. But I also want to become RuneScape famous enough that when I approach a player at a cluster of sand crabs, they almost feel bad for ever being there at all. Like, oh shit, dude, it's goose. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know you were coming here today, bro. My crabs are your crabs, bro. And hey, take this 300 mil for the trouble. I'm so sorry. By the way, my name's Chad. So if you want to like hang out or something, you just hit me up, dude. Let's hit some waves. And I just look at them and be like, don't let it happen again. And he'd be like, goose, talk to me. So I remembered why range training was my least favorite out of the combat skills. It's because of how arrows drop on the ground after you use them on a monster. This drives me nuts because you're literally seeing the money you spent drop onto the ground, which means I'm fighting every bone in my body to not constantly be picking up all this ammo like the broke loser I am. In melee, you swing your weapon, you can go AFK, make a pizza pop, work out. <laughs> You can do whatever you want, and you don't have to worry about literally throwing away money. With maging, you throw away money, but at least there's nothing you can do about it. It's an understood loss every time you do it. With range, you can do something about it, and that's what makes it horrible. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm running a series here. You think I'm gonna make myself look like some clown frantically running around trying to collect all the dropped ammo like I spent all my remaining cash on it? Nope. Wrong. I'm just gonna casually go pick up the loot these crabs drop. I I'm not doing it for the ammo. Because, I mean, I pick up crab loot all the time. They drop great shit. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up! Come on, you stupid bitch! It's all the way over there, and I'm all the way over here. We're gonna get you out of here, buddy. Leave no man behind. Yeah! Ooh. Oh, we got him, boys. We got him before he evaporated. 
So I get to level 40 range and I gotta say, in all my days coming out here and trying to make sure I'm part of the extinction process for these guys, ranging has definitely dented my ego a little bit. I thought Adamant Gear was like, you know, it's not bad, maybe good for up to 7 to 8 damage, and I could barely even land a 4 on these crabs. It felt like the crabs had the upper hand, but tides were turning, baby. Unbeknownst to them, I brought my rune daggers too, and now I could finally use them. Woohoo, boy, it's about to be a bloodbath. Has it taken me more rune daggers than it took adamant daggers to kill these guys? This RNG is making me look like an idiot. Because I looked really good before this happened. Who am I kidding? I'm like the test dummy that noobs can watch to learn how to not play the game. After my underwhelming island performance, I shifted over to agility. Before I go absolutely ham on questing, I wanted to unlock a full set of graceful gear so I'd be a fitness machine. According to my skill level, I'd have to head to Varrock to use their course. I blew out my shoulder, knocked loose the patella in both my knees, as well as tearing a meniscus and ACL, and I estimate I also had about six concussions, but honestly I can't even remember remember what happened three seconds ago. So we, like, who knows, right? Who knows? But all of that was not enough to stop me from dominating these absolute noobs running the course alongside me. And can we talk about the fact that I hit level 1000 overall? I mean, I'm not one to blow smoke up my own ass because if I do it too much, I'm just gonna float up into the sky and all my goals are down on land. So it's just impractical. So like, please don't celebrate. Don't be telling me congratulations and how can I be the best. I don't want to hear that. I made my way over to cannabis once I reached level 40 agility. And wow, this skill takes a long time to level. I spent like an hour and a half or two to reach level 40 from 32. This probably wouldn't have felt as arduous if this skill didn't keep you so involved with the game. Like you need to be clicking frequently and then you can be falling off and losing the XP boost from completing the course. But yeah, you know, we still got the job done. Cannabis on the other hand was where things got really intense. Little did I know Cannabis housed the most gifted athletes in all of Gylenor. There are so many people running this course and boy do they run it well. Do I run it well? No, no I do not. This place hurt me more than love ever could. Okay, that's not true, I'm being dramatic because this place almost gave my guy a heart attack and brought him over to Lumbridge. Now, Cannabis seems like it'd be an easier course because this place is built like they found a blueprint to a Chuck E. Cheese playground and were like, let's make a Chuck E. Cheese playground and incorporate nature into it because then we'll appeal to the hipsters as well. Hipsters are always trying to find ways to spend money on stupid shit, so like, profit. I finally made enough marks of grace to buy my first piece of graceful gear like 41 agility levels later, but I had to make a choice because I didn't really want to keep going with this right now, but at the same time, I don't want to be one of those guys that like, I mean, you know those people that save up like 50 paychecks for that nice new car, but then they just look like idiots because they get out of their car, you can't really see them yet, but then their nasty foot slaps down onto the ground and they're wearing Crocs, which is the first problem, but then you break out your binoculars because obviously any smart human being carries around binoculars in their fanny pack because you never know when you'll need them, right? And it's at times like this. So you reach into that fanny pack, pull out the binocs, get a closer look at these Crocs, whoa, which already don't make sense because why is a guy getting out of a Ferrari wearing Crocs? Crocs, but then you realize they're not even real Crocs, they're the knockoffs from Walmart. You're like, what the hell is going on here? And then this is when this poor dumb bastard closes his door and just like, it's just this nauseating wardrobe out on full display. Guy's wearing like a dashiki to hide the fact that he's only wearing boxers. And those boxers look unsavory, boys. I begin to wonder where the rest of his wardrobe is. Oh, I'm beginning to see it faintly appear on his car, along with the basement suite he could have still been renting from his mommy and daddy if he didn't spend all his money on this car. <laughs> yeah, I bet you're picking up a lot of bitches with your sleep sleeping bag and blanking the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. I don't want to be that guy is what I'm trying to say. Why would I buy a Louis Vuitton scarf if I can't afford a full Louis Vuitton outfit? It was time for some questing, because I have every intention of dedicating the next episode to one small favor. Then I won't have to see every top comment being like, do one small favor again. Those people will be like, wow, this guy's legit. He's taking this series real serious. I think, I think he's gonna make it. I think he's gonna get to 2277. So let's go make supporters out of these guys, huh? Juridic Ritual. Probably the easiest quest ever. If I deal with one small favor like how I dealt with this quest, it'll be a, like a five minute episode. For this quest, I had to talk to a guy in Taverly, and obviously, as is the protocol in this series, I had bought the items I needed for the quest beforehand. This quest is based around a group of guys who tried to build their own version of Stonehenge, and not only fail at doing so, but they get it stolen in the process. So they go and plant themselves like three cities away so they can beg randoms to help them get it back. That's where I come in. I'm the, I'm the random. 
So I'm running over to try and find the next objective, and I see another guy doing the Witch's House quest. You know, I've been there. I, I, I get it. It's probably one of the most confusing quests in the game, so the least I could do is be a good guy and offer this dude some moral support. I'm powwowing with him, taking his pain and putting it on my shoulders. I want to be this guy's support. This guy's rock. Bro, I get it. But then this guy just hits me with a lol. It's like when you think you sent the most fire, intricate joke to your girlfriend, and you get hit back with a lol. And then I get upset, so like, I tell her, Oh, okay, well maybe I'll go find myself a woman that thinks I'm funny. Probably just take me like five minutes. And that made her laugh. That stung a little bit. In order to purify their recently hijacked stone altar, I needed to go dip my meats into a cauldron so they'd be glazed in some blue sauce. If it's anything like the dips you can get with your chicken from Nando's, I totally get why they felt this was necessary to the ritual. After doing this, I bring it back to the first guy, then I talk to the quest giver, and boom, quest complete. Next, I decide to do a clue scroll. For no reason other than I've had one in my bank for a long time, and maybe something will bring me a ton of wealth. Thanks to Runelight, I know exactly where to get started. I port to Varrock, and behold, some really odd-looking hobbit knockoffs are waiting for me. These guys have really big foreheads, and I wondered why. It became really clear when I got this clue. These guys must have huge brains. Yeah, I got my girlfriend to do the puzzle for me. It's kind of cheating, but think about it, guys. If my girlfriend likes puzzles, and I make her think RuneScape is a primarily puzzle-oriented game, we might just have ourselves a new RuneScape player. Next, I head to the Karamja Desert, as this is where the next clue is on the map. The stakes were high for this one, boys and girls. I had to run into a treacherous desert that does damage to your HP. Now, please, I am a professional, so don't try this at home. All right, let's do this thing. I'm Goose, and welcome to Goose Ass. Woo! Goose, go, yo, 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 yo. Wait, shit, forgot my spade, bro. Take two, we good? Okay, yeah, welcome to the show. Let's get this Run. thing going. Yo, yo, yo. Okay, we made it, boys. Let's dig this treasure up and go home. Or not, that's cool too. Okay, well, this is the second time I've run over here. I'm not leaving. Okay, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. We're not playing games now, boys and girls. This guy can summon the strength of Zamorak and Sarah Dom is love child and this guy still won't have a chance. Just you wait and see. Oh, guess who's back, baby? You done f***ed up now. Clue in the bag next up was Trollheim. Had to go deep into troll territory and climb a mountain. And of course, the only agility shortcut I've unlocked on this mountain is to freaking go further down it when I need to go up. I killed another wizard at a dig site and made my way over to Mort Taunt. So this place is blocked off by a gate. I had no idea how to open this gate. Who knows who needed to be killed so this gate can get open, you know? It could be that court beast in the wilderness, who knows? Wikipedia tells me I just need to talk to this wizard like five feet away. That's the thing with RuneScape. Some things seem hard but are very easy, and some things seem easy but are very hard. This game is a thrill ride. I get through the swamp, followed by a winding path, and once again kill a wizard at a dig site. Then the clue asks me to go to our dune, and I forgot to bring a teleport, and my teleport spell was on cooldown. I just logged off for 18 minutes and did something productive with my life. I was not happy about it. I will not be doing that again. I port to our dune 20 minutes later and talked to a monk. I feel so bad for this guy because he, he gave me this clue and he was probably like, oh, this is so cryptic and so much thought went into this. I left my woman so I could focus all my energy into making this riddle. And I'm like, relax, you nasty neck beard. The answer is 129. Long story short, Runelight helped me crack his riddle in half a second and now I think this guy needs to be put on suicide watch. <laughs> Of course, I have to go all the way back to Mort Taunt. Fuck! 15 minutes and a lot of stamina potions later and I make it. And finally, I get the reward. A chest! Oh boy, we all know what's in chest, boys. Fatty treasure. But I guess RuneScape missed the memo from literally every pirate movie ever because they didn't put shit in mine. Two hours and a shit ton of money on stamina potions later and I was as broke as ever. I needed a pick-me-up. I called in the boys. It was time for my first ever group content in OSRS. Roll the footage. Oh, Matt, you following so far? <laughs> uh, no, I'm good, dude. I'm, I'm good. I'm writing these down. I'll keep going. So, uh, the most important thing ever. Everything else doesn't matter as long as you do this correctly. Is calling. Goose, why do you have to call me out like that? <laughs> like I'm not like like I'm not listening. No, hey. Look, I know you're listening, Matt. I was just making sure you're absorbing the information because I don't want you to have to wait for me to do it in God the game when you can just do it yourself. You know what I mean? All right, Goose, what's the most important thing in Barbarian Assault? Barbarian Assault, you got to put the things in the basket. That's for the collector role. I just said what the most important thing is. Matthew, do you know what it is? <laughs> Matt, you talking <laughs> shit? You don't even know? Shut up. I was doing... Let's see, not fast, I gotta do circles around my guy. Hold on. Okay. okay. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> We're all gonna die. 
So the most important thing. So you want to try the defender then? I is that is that the best role you think? No, that's the worst role. That's the hardest role. Yeah, put him in that role. Put him in that role. Okay. Uh. Okay. I'm fucking panicking. All right. <laughs> You're panicking. <laughs> Make sure you call combat style. Combat style. Uh, 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 uh. Matt. What? <laughs> I don't know what combat style. Like, how do I know which? Oh, blue egg. Uh, blue egg. Use the horn. Use the horn on in your inventory. Okay. Oh. There we go. We did it, guys. Holy what? crap. <laughs> oh, shit, boys. <laughs> we actually did. All right, round two. So what? Uh, what like rewards are we looking at here? Fighter torso. It's the one that makes you get that uh that six pack you've always been wanting, Matt. Oh heck yep. yeah. Damage type, Matt. Accurate. Field water. <laughs> Go get him, boys. Damage map. And you oh, control there. You control your fire. Ease up on the ammunition. <laughs> Pick up the right eggs. <laughs> Such a queef, dude. <laughs> oh, dude, it's smack a bitch a clock, boys. Three <laughs> seconds. Someone get this little freaking gra like dragonfly. Oh, yeah, my bad, bro. My bad. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hit bad, boys. I just leave him. We don't need them anyway. <laughs> well, I think if anyone dies, it's game over. Oh, pick him up, pick him up. Yo, Gilmore, please heal me. I'm gonna die. Well, go stand next to Gilmore. <laughs> make it easy, ah. Damn so, it, Matthew. Thank you so much. I'm Figure it out. Control. They're all dead. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Stop yelling at me. Oh, I'm getting hit, bad boys. Oh, oh no, you're, you're good, dude. I'm looking right at you. <laughs> I almost died. I died. <laughs> oh, shit. no. <laughs> okay, bro. Okay. We, don't, no, don't mind me, I, boys. I just need to quickly pop out a three plater. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a fucking uh, pump, boys. Uh, those, are those rune boots, bro? Wow, you got your rune boots? <laughs> bro, those are like 7k, bro. I'm just gonna cry in this corner here. <laughs> you're always finding corners to cry in, Matt. You're gonna weaken the uh, the foundations of the buildings you're in. Because all the water from yeah, your tears, it like okay, soaks into the. <laughs> You hope a building falls on me, Matt? You're so emotional. <laughs> so, I'm going medic again? Really? You sure yep. about this? Yep. I'm pretty sure I'm the worst medic of all time, but fine. Um, I have rune. I mean, I could put rune. That might be a good idea. Really? I guess. Yeah. So when I'm not healing, I'm feeding these guys their food that will kill them. Yep. Perfect. All right. All right, Matt. Hurry back. Oh, well, there's Matt. Oh, there man. he is. Nope, that is not Matt. That is <laughs> much better than Matt. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Here comes Matt. I mean, <laughs> here I come. Yeah. Oh, oh Matt, you're looking smart now. Oh, Fucking nice, gross. Your collector. <laughs> what is that thing? <laughs> Finish him. All right, all right, all right. Everybody, settle down. Let's do this shit. And make your calls. Don't forget to make your calls. And someone, please, uh, find. Oh shit! Uh, oh, there's the queen. Oh shit! All right, uh, collector. Oh. You need to get the yellow eggs that fall out of her ass. Stay by the yellow pool! Sorry, it's just, okay, I'm freaking Turn out off here. Your... Hold on, Judah, I got you. Hog, go put the Omega eggs on into the basket. Go, go, go. Into the basket, where's the basket? The launcher, the egg launcher. She's not close enough! Oh no! Oh fuck, I need to actually kill the last runner! Uh, heal me, heal me. Quick. Oh my gosh, I'm... Okay, I'm good, I'm good. Yes, sir. HP. Oh no, my gosh, man. Hold on, I'm reloading mine. Six HP. That should be it. Got him? Yeah! Okay, boys! Obviously, after this intense rush, I needed an outlet to let out all this energy and dominance onto. I chose my buddy Matt and challenged him to a 1v1. To make things more interesting, a friend offered $500,000 to the winner, which obviously is going to be me. Now, Hog Tom was allowed to take steroids for optimal performance because he's obviously an inferior being, and so I agree. The Natty versus the Doper. No gear, fist fight to the death. My only condition was I get to wear my cape because, like, it's part of me now. We made our way over to where I believed millions of fans would be waiting but once we got there there was no one that's smart i liked it it had a real social distance vibe to it i'm so confident i clean and press a bar with two plates on it before we start and of course hog tom takes this as an opportunity to attack me when i'm already fatigued but jokes on him i never fatigue what ensued was the beatdown of a lifetime not only did i turn him from man to boy i then also turned him from boy back to fetus long story short his mom has a baby back in her now and she doesn't even know it yet and when he comes back out being like it's me hog 
about time. She's gonna be like, what the fuck? I gotta raise your incompetent ass again? After yet another W, I head straight to NMZ. Don't waste no time. Pick up level 65 defense because it's about time we upgraded our wardrobe, just like we did with our weapon. Level 65 and I get access to Bandos? All right, let's head to the Grand Exchange and stock up. 20 mil. Fuck! All right, boys and girls, let's talk clan chat and let's talk Discord. I made a clan chat and I made a Discord. By the way, I'm so sorry my mic is so shit right now. The one I normally use died on me during the making of this video, as well as my Premiere file crashing, so I lost like 30 hours worth of editing, but it's fine, I don't want to talk about it, even though I just already covered 100% of the situation. In the description, I've included the link to my Discord server, and you can join my clan chat by using my in-game name Targaryen. I'm a little worried though, because once I build an army in RuneScape, I will truly be unstoppable. I also have my Patreon in the description. Thank you so much to the homies that have already become patrons. If you don't know what patron is, it's just a way to donate some pocket change to me, and the goal of this is to hopefully one day go full-time in making RuneScape content so I can get videos out way faster. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Sorry for the long wait and shitty mic quality. Hit that subscribe and like button. It really supports the channel. I'm, you know, obviously I really appreciate it. Like, <laughs> do you want to be a homie or not? Do you? Oh, you don't? Oh, your mouse is, it's, your mouse is moving towards that dislike button. Don't you, don't you click that button, bro! Thank you so much for watching and take care.